All right, welcome back. It's time for a coffee break here on Daybreak. We hope you had a second to pour up a cup for yourself. Right. Yeah, let's uh, tell you about a story here. Something, thankfully, you're not going to see at Table Rock Lake or Lake oh. of the Ozarks, Taney Como, okay. Palm de Terre, any of ours around here. Somebody's thinking, challenge accepted. <laughs> I hope We're not. We're going to get it out. I hope this doesn't happen. <laughs> a close encounter caught on camera for a paddle boarder in Florida. She was paddling in a long-distance charity race when her husband in a nearby boat spotted a shark. Spotted that dorsal fin popping out behind her in the water there. And, oh, uh, yeah. yeah, you don't like that. She started paddling toward the boat when she saw that shark following close behind. And she said she could actually feel the shark's head bumping the bottom of the board there. Oh, my gosh. Terrifying moment. Once she made it to the boat, the shark started circling another paddle boarder nearby, saying, if I can't get you, I'm going to... Go bother this person. That person also made it safely onto the boat. Both paddle boarders eventually got back on their boards and finished the race. Wow. You love to hear that they finished the race. Yeah, no kidding. Man, what a moment. You don't want that. I, no, uh, not at all. I, yeah. Just hearing the Jaws music in my head there. <laughs> Any, anytime we can reference Jaws on this show, we're going to do it. Oh, you're right. Yes, yes. Jaws. Nee, nee, right. Nee, nee. All right. Well, our next story here. A huge collection of Disneyland items are going up for auction in California. A man who's been collecting memorabilia from Disneyland his whole life is putting it up for auction later this month. For now, the items are on display at a pop-up exhibit at a mall in Burbank, California. The auction includes animatronic ghosts from the Haunted Mansion, a vehicle from the Peter Pan ride, and the singing bird from the Enchanted Tiki Room. Altogether, more than 1,500 items are up for bid. We had this story wow. a few months ago about this guy who had like a lifetime pass to Disneyland and just was a huge Disney fan. And I think he ended up like just buying some of these items or inheriting them somehow. So there you go. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. That's a lot of stuff. It is. 1,500 items. Yeah, I don't and know. And some of those are pretty sizable too. They weren't like little small items you can put yeah. on the shelf. They take up a room. This guy Good must, things. this dude must have like a warehouse or something. He's, uh, he's got to have it somewhere. That's yeah. a lot. Yeah, hopefully he can get rid of some of it. <laughs> and finally, a newer version of Apple's AirPods Pro. It could have some health features on the new one. The new feature would be able to check for potential hearing issues. And it could check your body temperature through your ear canal, which could allow Apple to be able to alert whoever's wearing them if you're starting to get sick. According to Bloomberg, Apple could also be working toward AirPods as hearing aids as well. That's after the FDA approved over-the-counter sales of hearing aids without prescriptions. A release date for this updated version of the device has not yet been announced. So multiple functions that could be coming with that there. So Interesting. Kind of cool to see them breaking into the medical side of things. Uh, you know? Kind of strange, yeah, mm -hmm. but you know, it's very different. Mm -hmm. It's like when I want headphones, I just want to listen to music. You know, I don't know. I don't want to... And, and if temperature checked. Yeah, but if you call now, we can also include a hearing aid. Yeah, one of those things. <laughs> Something like that. They've exactly. got it all. They've got it all for you there. <laughs> well, coming up next, an invasive fish species found in the Ozarks. What officials want you to do if you catch one. Not going to believe this one. And powerful storms knocked down power lines and uprooted trees across parts of Missouri over the weekend. We'll show you the damage and find out how many are still in the dark this morning. Plus, Tom's got a look at your full forecast after the break. It's going to lay out what your Monday and your 4th of July are looking like, as long as a uh, rainy rest of the week. We'll be right back.